I'm Nidhi Kumar and you're watching Science Time, a show that brings to you the best that science offers from exciting developments in science and technology to futuristic solutions. Artificial photosynthesis can produce food in complete darkness, insomnia can cause future cognitive and memory problems and a new study to help develop early warnings for earthquakes and landslides. Let's take you on to story number one. For millions of years, photosynthesis has evolved in plants to turn water, carbon dioxide and the energy from sunlight into plants, biomass and the foods that we eat. However, this process is very inefficient with only around 1% of the energy found in sunlight ending up in the plant. Researchers at the University of California, Riverside and the University of Delaware have found a way to bypass the need for biological photosynthesis altogether and create food independent of sunlight by using artificial photosynthesis. The new research published on June 23, 2022 in the journal Nature Food uses a two-step electro catalytic process to convert carbon dioxide, electricity and water into acetate combined with the solar panels to generate electricity to power the electrocatalysis, this hybrid organic inorganic system could increase the conversion efficiency of sunlight into food. Artificial photosynthesis opens the door to countless possibilities for growing food under the increasingly difficult conditions imposed by anthropogenic climate change by liberating agriculture from complete dependence on the sun. Crops could also be grown in cities and other areas currently unsuitable for agriculture and even provide food for future space explorers. Let's take you to story number two. Long-term insomnia symptoms may lead to impaired cognitive performance at retirement age. The University of Helsinki's Helsinki Health Study evaluated the development of insomnia symptoms in middle age and their impact on memory learning, capacity and concentration after retirement. According to this study, long-term insomnia symptoms and later poorer cognitive functioning have a clear connection. The findings indicate that severe insomnia symptoms were associated with worse cognitive function among those who were on statutory pension. The study also discovered that when the insomnia symptoms lasted longer, the memory impairments, learning ability problems and attention problems worsened. The research was published in the Journal of Aging and Health. And with that, let's take a look at story number three. A team of researchers from the Bengaluru-based Raman Research Institute has developed a new method to help develop early warning systems for catastrophic structural failures, including natural phenomena like earthquakes and landslides. The new technique is basically intended to better understand how a slurry formed when sufficient amount of solid grains are mixed with a liquid and how it behaves. When an external force is applied, they undergo failures and eventually start flowing like a liquid. The phenomena is technically known as yielding. The process of yielding assumes importance as it is also associated with significant energy dissipation in the system due to particle-particle and particle-liquid friction. However, due to the disordered arrangement of particles, it is tough to predict the occurrence of such force-induced failures in these systems. The new technique seeks to address this issue. It is, among other things, expected to be useful for developing a better understanding of catastrophic natural phenomena like earthquakes and landslides. Studying the interactions between the grain in possible locations of such catastrophic phenomena can help in minimizing the damages and fatalities, say Sayantan Mazumdar, the leader of the study team and an associate professor in the Soft Condensed Matter Group at the Raman Research Institute. The report of the work is published in the journal Communication Physics. And with this, we come to an end of this edition of Science Time. We'll be back with more exciting stories from the world of science next week. Until then, stay tuned to India Science. Namaskar. Thank you for watching.